Hey girl, it's Ryan Morell and girl, in today's video, we will be talking all about digital organization. I will be showing you how I organize all my files, so all my documents, my photos, my videos, and all of that in my three main digital spaces, Google Drive, my MacBook, and my hard drives. And yes, this process can take a while. It can take a couple of hours or a couple of days, depending on how many years of unorganized files you have. So this is another video you can file under things to do while you're bored in quarantine. And speaking of things to do while you're bored, you guys know that I have been taking Skillshare classes for the past, what, two months? I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of creative classes for you to choose from. I've recently decided to minor in marketing, so I've really been taking advantage of all the business classes Skillshare offers. Right now, I'm taking this class on social media media strategies by Gary V and after this I'll be taking this class on personal branding and I feel like these classes along with Skillshare's other marketing classes will really prepare me for my minor later on that's what I love about Skillshare there is such a wide variety of classes just two months ago I started taking art classes like graphic design and illustration and now I'm taking business classes it's also really affordable a yearly subscription is less than ten dollars a month the best part is that you can try their premium members for free. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. So make sure to click that link so you can explore your creativity by taking as many classes as you can on Skillshare. Now back to the video. Okay, so let's start with how I organize my Google Drive. So everyone with a Gmail account automatically has a Google Drive. And a little tip, if you plan on storing videos in your Google Drive, I suggest you upload them into the Google Drive of your school account because those have unlimited storage compared to your personal Google account, which I think you only get 15 gigabytes. So little tip, store all your bigger files into your school Google Drive accounts. I have three Google Drives. I have my ISM Google Drive, which stores all of my middle school and high school documents. Then I have my Ateneo Google Drive, which is where I keep all of my college documents. And then I have my YouTube Google Drive. So you'll see later on that I have three different organization systems for each of the Google Drive accounts. Just in general, regardless of the organization system of the Google Drive, the first step is to always name your document correctly because it's so easy to just make documents on Google Drive I make so many documents and usually I just don't name them so I have a lot of like untitled document 1 untitled document 21 but I guarantee you that taking the extra three seconds to name your document will make organizing so much easier for you later on because number one it'll make your files way easier to locate and number two it'll be so much easier for you to organize them and put them in the respective folders because you won't have to like actually open the document to check what's in it you'll know what's in it based on the name so that's step number one and number two is to figure out a folder organization system by folder organization system I just mean like how you break down your folders and it's better if you have like a uniform system so that it's not that messy I will show you my three systems okay so as you can see this is my ISM Google Drive I have my files all the way from seventh grade to twelfth grade so first I make folders per year and then I put two folders inside that year. I put class resources and class work, pretty self-explanatory. So that's basically how I organized it from 7th grade to 11th grade. 12th grade I added more folders so I have class resources, class work, classroom because this is the year that we really started using Google Classroom. Exam review because I was preparing for IB exams so I made a lot of reviewers, that's where all of that is. And then others and that's where I keep all of my graduation documents because we had to you know make a bunch of stuff so this is the folder organization system number one it is to first create folders per year and then per year create two folders class resources and class work in each of those folders create separate folders for each of your classes okay so that's it for my ISM drive now we're gonna move on to my Ateneo Google Drive so for this one instead of dividing it per year I divide it per semester because in college your classes change per semester 
semester. For my freshman year, you'll see that it's not divided per semester. That's because I only organized my Ateneo drive during my sophomore year, and I was too lazy to separate my freshman year into two semesters. So I wish I started organizing my drive sooner, but I didn't, so that's why. But moving forward, I will be dividing each year per semester. So in each semester folder, I add four folders. Drafts, graded work, notes, and presentation. So drafts, this is where I keep all of my drafts. I don't know about you, but I make so, so, so many drafts. That's like what clutters my Google Drive the most, all the drafts. For graded work, that's where I keep all the graded work. For notes, since I do make digital notes, this is where I keep all of my notes. And lastly, presentations, because you make a lot of presentations in college, which I did not expect. So school folder organization system number two is to first create folders for each semester. And inside those semester folders, add four more folders, drafts, graded work, notes, and presentations. And my goal really is when I organize my Google Drive is when I click my drive, it's clean. There are no documents lying around. Okay, and lastly, we have my personal Google account. This one doesn't have as many documents in it. So I only have three main folders. I have business, personal, and YouTube. So you can customize this really depending on what you store in your Google Drive account. But I really suggest that you separate your personal account from your school account just so that you know it's easier for you to sort through documents. So for my business folder, I have two folders inside. I have contracts and invoices. For personal, that's just where I keep personal files. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say for that. And then for YouTube, I have two folders inside, documents and uploads. So that's my third organization system. And this one is really just Customize based on your needs. When you make your folders, try to generalize it as much as you can because you don't want to be making so many folders because the point of creating folders is to organize everything and not to you know, make it seem so cluttered. So it would really be pointless if you would just make 30 different folders. Now let's move on to my MacBook, how I organize my MacBook. I only like to keep recent files here because this only has 512 gigabytes, which is not a lot because you know that Apple device is the always when you check your your storage a large chunk of it is other I still don't fully understand what other is but it takes up a lot of space so I don't really have like a disposable 512 gigabytes which is why I only keep super recent necessary files here what does that mean so if you go to my pictures folder I only keep pictures from 2020 before I used to keep pictures from like 2015 to 2019 but I was like what's really the point of that like I'm not like reminiscing every single day so I don't need to keep all my photos from years and years ago so I only keep 2020 pictures and then at the end of the year I organize everything inside this folder and you'll see how I organize my photos later when we talk about my hard drives and then I transfer my 2020 folder into my hard drive and for documents I only keep documents per semester same for movies I don't keep any of my movies on my MacBook if I want to watch a movie on my MacBook that's not on Netflix then I'll transfer it from my drive then as soon as I'm finished watching it I'll delete it I don't really have much to say about about how to organize your MacBook. For me, the number one tip is to only keep recent files. There's no point keeping files from years ago because you're not gonna use it anyway and you need that space more for applications. If you wanna know more about how I organize my MacBook, I did go into more detail in my What's in My MacBook video, so just click this card over here. I don't know if you noticed, but I paused because my parents came home with Starbucks and this is the TikTok trend. TikTok Starbucks coffee order trend with the white mocha and sweet cream and girl, it tastes really good okay so now for my hard drives I have two hard drives and these are one terabyte each and I think that one terabyte is a good enough storage for hard drives because girl hard drives are actually really expensive which I did not realize until I had to buy them myself but they are quite expensive so I think one terabyte is good enough that's 1,000 gigabytes which is a lot <laughs> so the reason why I have two hard drives is just in case the other one breaks. Both of these store the exact same files. So in my hard drive, I have seven main folders. Apps, documents, movies, others, photos, TV shows, and YouTube to edit. Never mind, those are eight folders. So apps, that's where I store all my apps. Um, I don't really know if there's a point to doing this because I don't even know if you can like transfer apps to different MacBooks. Anyways, I have it there because it doesn't take that much space anyway. 
template and I have documents and my documents I organize based on year again I have seventh grade to freshman year college then I have fonts and these are all of the fonts I've downloaded I have others and in my others folder that's where I keep all of my personal documents inside these folders I don't have any more subfolders because I only keep my class work again similar to organizing your Google Drive the first step is to really name your documents correctly so I just named them accordingly it's very simple how I organize my documents compared to how I organize my photos I have photos from 2004 when I was five years old to 2019 there's one folder per year except for 2004 to 2013 because I haven't gotten to that yet I started organizing from the most recent to the least recent so I still have to organize those folders and break them up but for 2009 to 2013 the reason why I didn't break it up per year is because I have no idea when I took those photos like these are photos like from my iPad from my Blackberry when I was a little tween and there's no date on them so I don't really know what year I took them I just know it's somewhere between 2009 to 2013 and then per year if we open let's open my 2015 folder for example I make folders for big events so my rule my general rule is if you have more than 15 photos from that event make a separate folder for it the way I title my photos is very different from the way I title my document so I title my document accordingly you know based on what it is but for my photos, I like to have a uniform title, a uniform format. Okay, for example, let's open this one, my YouTube Next Up folder. This is an example of a subfolder that has a lot of subfolders inside because I have more than a thousand photos from this event. So we have after party, graduation, others, photo wall, press conference, videos, workshops. And then when you open one of the photos, their titles have the same format because I just think it's way neater. So all of the photos inside this YouTube Next Up press conference conference folder are titled next up press con dash blank so it's next up press con dash one dash two three four five six dash twenty four and I do this for all my photos all of them depending on their folder have the exact same title format so that's really how I organize my hard drive those are the ones that I really took the time to organize and are more specific with like the way I title them the way I make my folders because the other folders here so I have applications you know don't really organize that for movies you know just put all the movies there title them correctly title them accordingly for shows again I just divide each folder by series I only keep three shows actually three of my favorite shows so I have friends gossip girl and the office and then for my YouTube this is where I keep all my YouTube resources so this one is exactly the same as my YouTube folder in my MacBook currently and then YouTube to edit is where I keep all the videos that I filmed but haven't edited yet because usually my files like for example this video that I'm recording by the time I finish recording, it'll probably be like around 16 gigabytes. So that's a lot if I were to keep it on my MacBook. So I like to keep it in my hard drive. And then once I'm done editing it, then I will delete those files. Okay, so that's really it. That is how I organize my three digital spaces. Again, Google Drive, my MacBook, and my hard drives. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you plan on organizing your digital files or digital spaces as well, let me know. I'd love to see um, what what organization system you come up with. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.